So it's interesting that you would have worked with these masters almost in the Eastern mode and then come back to a very pragmatic Western kind of, of, of view. Um, it, when you are with people like Oscar and Daffrey John, they, they obviously have a lot of charisma. They have a kind of a catalytic effect on other people's consciousness. And a question that I always wonder about with any good teacher, anybody who is, is in demand, such as yourself even, is, is how much of it is the, the catalytic effect of the teacher of the consciousness on people. And that's one of the reasons why we're putting together videos so people can at least see some of these wonderful teachers who are here. And, and you know, I guess what I'm saying is that had you not worked with all of these people and not done all that, you wouldn't be where you are now realizing you didn't, you no longer need to be doing that. Right. I, the only way out is through. And so I had to, it was part of my process. But I want to make clear, this isn't uh, a game of my teacher is better than your teacher. I want to emphasize there is no best teacher. Despite the beliefs, we have to believe in whatever teacher we're going to be signing up with. Uh, we don't say that's the second best person around, or we wouldn't be following them. We'd be finding someone else. Mm -hmm. So we have to believe uh, in whatever we're doing, whether it's a sport, a martial art. Uh, but we have to go beyond that belief and begin to trust ourselves and check out whatever we hear with our, our inner knower. So I was given these teachers, extraordinary teachers, and I say this with great respect and gratitude to each and every one of them. Um, I was given these teachers because of my commitment to share what I learned with other people. I wasn't learning just for myself. It wasn't for my own benefit so I could get blisses that other people don't have. It's not about that. We're all in this together. But I can be more useful to people for having gone through what I did and describing it. I have some perspective now. And even since that time, I've taken various trainings and seminars with no interest for myself. But So I might get more experience and I would have some knowledge when I, if someone asked me a question about it. I could speak from my own experience. So, But it always comes back to the simple moment right now. What will we do in this moment? That is what is in large part going to shape our life. Not cosmic concepts like our beingness uh, and highly intellectual, stimulating ideas, abstract notions we can discuss till the morning's light. But what will we do in this moment? Are we breathing? Are we relaxed? Are we moving with elegance and paying attention? No one, everyone wants fancy. We want esoteric uh, solutions to our health. Uh, rather than just paying attention to exercising almost every day, uh, getting a balanced diet and getting enough rest. Mm -hmm. Simple, ordinary things will make the most difference for most of us, rather than uh, these all cosmic, fascinating ideas channeled from the third dimension, from a 20,000-year-old dead person. We, we fall into these fascinations. Rather than coming back to ourselves right now, what will we do in this moment responding to the circumstances that arise? What needs to be done now? Yes, right now.